Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of FTB University, where today we're upgrading the mob farm, especially visually, getting some bee armor and uh, doing some other bee stuff. So, I've uh, been working on the mob farm, and uh, yeah, just starting it up a bit because it kind of was just a hole in the wall, which wasn't that nice to look at, and I appear to have missed a brick. Much better. Um, yeah, I'll still, still more to tidy up elsewhere, obviously. But hey, check this out. Now, I'm in the process of, uh, I'm going to sort stuff we don't want to keep, um, some stuff we do want to keep, and yeah, I've got the liquid death in here. Now, I've got to be careful uh, in here, because we've got liquid death down here, as well as golden spikes, as well as the RK levitators, just pushing mobs straight down. So I think... Like, sometimes spiders are going to, probably, if they touch the ground, they're going to end up over here. Um, if they try and climb up the wall, they're just going to get pushed straight down by this guy. So, that should be pretty cool. And we got these fast vector plates, which are still not quite fast enough for some of the cursed earth mobs that spawn. But yeah, just got it all sort of tidied up. Got this dark and evable glass. And this glass just doesn't let light through, so you can have light out here, and it won't light up inside the mob farm. Yeah, just yeah, expanded, made it bigger. Um, we got our experience obelisk, which we set up uh, the other episode, and yeah, no XP vacuum. But it just it looks nicer now. Yeah. So what I'm planning on doing is putting a bunch, bunch of pipes into this trash can, uh, and then just filtering. Actually, I'm going to need some filters, and filtering not based on NBT data. So like. We turn this on for a second. And yes, that's right. It's it's a switch. That's a switch. Don't have to climb upstairs and flick a lever. Um, so we know with some items. These were bad examples. Right, so the problem with filtering bows, um, if you put it down a trash can and you say, you, I need to grab some filters, but if you put a bow, like a bow that's slightly damaged is not the same item as a bow with no damage, or a bow with a little bit of damage. So by ignoring the NBT data, it's ignoring like that damage and stuff. But I think we need another couple of item filters. And we've almost got the elderly, and I suspect we've potentially, we've potentially got the stuff to make it now. Uh, maybe not, sh maybe not quite yet, uh, but working on it, working on it. So if I wanted to make filters, Ooh, that caps lock, uh, and I probably want advanced item filters. To be fair, hey, and these need the Z logic controllers. Hey, that's pretty cool. Um, if we could automate that uh, processing, yep, and we say we won't get them back. We should just get the logic controller. Um, silicon, we want the silicon. Oh, but, uh, just just one, thanks. And hey, this might just work because um, I've got my slice and slice. It's got the tools in it. If we put the recipe in there, uh, we're gonna have to teach the. Oh, it doesn't even need a base filter. Ah, yeah, but we're trying to make the advanced item filter. Crafting mode. One of them. Should probably learn how to make paper. Because um, I've got potentially plenty of sugarcane. So if we asked for, say, two Z Logic controllers, apparently we can get them. Nice. And we just need to set push and pull. And cool. So filter two. Nice. Yeah, I should have actually just requested the filters, not the C logic ones individually. Now I'm pretty sure these guys they can match NBT, ignore NBT. That's what we want. And whitelist. Yeah, probably whitelist. In fact, we might want a couple more of these. 
if we get six in total, missing zombie heads. I mean, once we get this mob farm going, okay, we'll settle for two just now. So we come over here. Oh, and the lights are controlled too. Uh, I should probably, probably show that because that's a little bit different to what we've done in the past. That is just using... Um, these uh, redstone conduits. Essentially, the same as power conduits, but they transfer a redstone signal. So that's literally just attached to the bottom of this redstone lamp. Um, and I have it set... to uh, input a red signal. Now this is kind of backwards, so having this set as an input outputs the signal, you can see by the arrow, um, outputs the signal to these guys and their output has to be set to red as well. So they kind of seem backwards to me. Um, I suppose it's the output signal that turns it on. Um, that's the signal that's generated by the input of a redstone. I guess that's probably the logic behind it. And yeah, they're disconnected um, to all the different lamps, which is enough to light up the farm and just turn it off. So I think that's pretty nice. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we definitely want to make sure we block off uh, any light coming in that we don't want. So we get this trash can. Um, we'll put you, I guess, here. And you're definitely going to want a filter on your insert. And we need to put something in here. So let's get the bow. And let's say bows. And we want to ignore NBT. So any bow. You'll see like the bow in there has no damage associated with it. So if we turned... Uh, extract to always active. Oh, ah, and set this guy to insert. You'll see the bow went in there. So that's perfect. And you just want to be careful using the trash can. Um, it's probably better to have... Uh, it should be fine. We might change the color to brown. That way, if you accidentally hook something into this pipe, you can't just delete stuff you didn't want to. Right, and then the next thing to do is run these item conduits. Which I'd hope I've got some more somewhere. I don't. I don't. Yeah, run these item conduits. Oh, and one other important thing. I don't have the key on me, but we need to lock these drawers because otherwise, if you just insert straight in here, like random stuff's going to end up in all these drawers. So you really want to lock them first. I really would have thought I brought the key with me. Let's see, so we lock that. We lock that, and now, yeah, only stuff we want to go in there will go in there. So. hard to get to. Uh, insert on brown. Ah, oh, whoops, you are extract on brown. There we go. And I might want to put some speed upgrades in this guy too. And ideally I probably want to Hook this up to my AE system as well. So we should end up with those Thorncraft crystals. Yeah, they're heading over to that drawer. Except for this guy, because I haven't set a drawer for him, so it must have got one. And the reason we're getting these is because of the liquid death, uh, where the spikes are. And it causes uh, mobs to drop those crystals, and different mobs drop different crystals. And we probably want to store spider eyes because they're so handy. Yeah, we're ending up with some stuff. Uh, so Santa hats I probably want to get rid of. I mean, I guess I could keep glass bottles. Hey, I mean, it saves making them. Here we go, here's stuff I definitely want to get rid of. 
Now, I did have a thought, and I'll just stand it here where it's not as noisy. Like this obsidian helmet, you could use it. You could smelt them all and get nuggets back. Um, you could arc furnace them and get obsidian ingots, which yeah, wouldn't be bad, but I mean, we're going to end up at some stage being able to make this stuff pretty easily. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, obviously we are going to uh, fill up all these filters with stuff pretty quickly. Now, I did just have a thought. We could still run into the situation where this fills up with items. Like we end up with too many of these random things. If that happens, we could lag the game a lot. Doing up levels though. Um, I think I'll just leave it for a bit. And we'll just come back and check on it uh, every now and then. And I'll just make sure I don't leave it going for, for too long. Right, I'll just shut these guys up for a bit. Uh, found a solution. Um, I just have uh, these chests set with a lower priority of insert. And yeah, so they've got quite a bit of storage. And uh, they'll just pick up anything that doesn't go into the right place. And then I can just occasionally come in here and add stuff uh, to the to the whitelist of the, the dumping of it. And that'll at least give us a huge buffer. I'd have to leave this going for a long time uh, before that became a problem. Oop. So yeah, that should be cool for a while. Just leave you running, building up experience, uh, so we can do some enchanting in the future. All right, so the next thing I think we're going to do, let's check on this. Uh, suspect we don't have enough erodium crystals to upgrade our void ore miners just yet. I might even make a couple more. Need what, six of these? Oh, hey. We might have enough. Ah, uh, no, probably not because tier two stuff like the structure frames, yeah, they require it. Uh, and I know we need the six just for the void or controller, so we'll leave that for now. Um, what did the crystal lens take? Ooh, we could make one. Uh, I mean, it's, it could be worth it, actually. Because it's almost, well, it's not really, but it's almost five times more likely to get erodium crystals. As opposed to building another Void or Miner. But then if we just make the tier two, he's going to go a lot faster. We'll wait, we'll wait. Wait for a bit more erodium to build up before we upgrade then. But I might be able to build this Alvary now. So what are we missing in here? We're missing... Keep running out of... Uh, the beeswax. So I actually had to convert these bees back to common and these bees back to cultivated. Uh, because all the other honeycombs that we're making don't actually um, produce beeswax. So that was an issue. But... We put this in here. We tried to make some of these. Um, we need four more. So we need four. I mean, this guy's making the wrong stuff. Hey, these are four impregnated casings. Uh, do we have enough Elvery stuff? Hey, we do. Hey, we actually had spear. Oh, mate, we had enough to make another one. Okay, cool. So we can now... Oops, not do that. The Alvary must have wooden slabs on top. Ah, right, I forgot about that. Hey, we got one. <laughs> we finally did it. 
Um, oh, that's awesome. So Genistry should be unlocked now, right? Oh, what did we get from... Oh, I got a couple of quest rewards. Redstone conduits and the filter. Extract speed downgrade. I haven't come across a situation where I need that, but sure. So, ah, I think for the forestry quest, we actually need to be holding all of the armory box. There we go. Nice. So we should have Gendistry now. Oh, we do. This is going to be so much better. It must be locked. Wait, oh, I must have to accept the Gendistry. I don't want to do that. Alvary, Gendistry, tick. There we go. Oh, that's cool. For making trees. Hey, I might actually make some trees because I can't be bothered doing that. But nice, we can make industrial apiaries. We're going to. They do need RF to run. But I mean, that's not a deal breaker, to be fair. But okay, so what do we do with this massive bee house? I think we're pretty close. To being able to get some of this. Hey, I think we got enough. I think we got enough. Now, pants is the last thing I need. Pants is the last thing I need. Oh, we did it. We did it. Oh, that was weird. Okay, cool. We got a full apiarist suit. So I think now um, we should be able to come over to the these guys. Oh, we don't take damage. Oh, that's so good. Now, why aren't you extracting? Extract, always active. Insert on green. Extract. Extract green. Why are you not? Don't understand why you're not extracting these guys. Oh. I understand why you're not extracting. <laughs> because I was breeding some bees at one point. It's just so hard to tell what was going on uh, when the bees keep killing us all the time. That is a lot of bees. That is a lot of bees. Nice, so these guys should all work perfectly fine now. <laughs> Speed this guy up. Now, 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 I have an idea. I have an idea. If we get a cobblestone generator. Like one of these should be fine. Um, basic plating. Couple of buckets, bucket of water and a bucket of lava. I want one of those buckets back. If we make another... I want to make the numbered filter. Another one of these limited item filters. Um, let's add them. We need some more patterns. Oh, we don't have the stuff. That's right, I know we've got patterns over here. And we had this pattern. We asked for another limited item filter. Um, how do I want to do this? Because we don't want to get too much too much cobblestone in here. Um, could do this. You do... Uh, no, let's not do that. Let's go underground. If we had... Item conduit. Item conduit here. Cobblestone generator here. You don't extract there. You. These 
pipes are in the way. Oh, these pipes are in the way. You insert with this filter. We only want 64 in here at a time. Insert limited item filter, 64 cobblestone. So, we take all this out. We say insert. And we say. I can't see the thing. Extract always active. Should only end up with 64 cobblestone. I think. Nice, perfect. That works really, really well. Cool. We could chuck that in there, and then he's only ever going to have one slot filled with cobblestone, which should be cool. Right, well, you might think that this is finished, but obviously not. Um, we didn't make this gigantic bee house to not use him. Uh, I think you should go. Oops, not like that. Now, we're probably going to run into power issues, and I'll probably end up oh, like running into lava issues when we start processing walls automatically. Um, and I'll replace all these apiaries with industry apiaries, because you can get um, production upgrades. And you can stack them, but they use more power. You need production upgrades, so yeah. Maximum installed eight. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And you can get stuff like uh, upgrades for, so this is planes emulation, but you can get like desert emulation, I think. Desert emulation. Pretty much we wouldn't need um, the habitat former, which I mean, to be fair, the habitat form is working fine. So we'll probably just leave it like that. But let's actually use this guy. So we can't put frames in the alvary. But I did think there was Alvary Swarmer. That's for spawning more beehives. Alvary Heater, Stabilizer, Sieve. No, that's about pollen from trees. I thought you could use frames. Obviously not. Um, okay. But let's grab a queen and a drone. And you should work. Hey, it's away. Now, I think we can automate this. And I think it's as simple as doing this. So, like, insert. So, extract. All is active. Insert. And we'll say that this is priority one. And we might be able to just insert into, um, maybe not straight into that guy. I kind of want to insert into this line here. Extract, always active. Can't change the priority though. That's an issue. And I don't think we can time in a bottle this. If you can, I don't know which block it is. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but we got it, and uh, yeah, now we can make the the smaller, uh, the industry alvaries, which is going to be really cool. Well, guys, we've done it. We've finally got the alvary. Uh, the alvary itself is kind of cool. I think you get more production out of it, but I can't quite remember. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, we can now build the industry. Uh, beehives and stuff so once we run into lava issues again which we've got a bit of a back stuff of simmering combs and lava now uh, once we run into issues with that then we can uh, upgrade to the gendistry stuff which is is pretty powerful stuff pretty powerful stuff and it's going to make uh, crossbreeding any bees we need to do in the future a lot easier but probably take a bit of a break from the bees for a while uh, at least until we run into power issues so maybe not for a while but might be enough to get us started before we start looking into the nuclear power plant but it's been classic stuff You've been watching the episode, like and subscribe, and I'll 
see you on the next one